everyone, welcome back. Um, I went ahead and um, got my package of clay out of the cabinet. Um, I have my clay that I worked with last time and then my other one's still in my package so I can start using them today. I'm gonna open up my package. Okay, so now I opened up all my packages. I opened up all of my packages and um, my clay is right here and my bag with my name on it. I can go ahead and throw away these ones so I have more space to work with. I wanna keep this one, however. I already warmed this clay up last time, but I can warm it up again. And I'm gonna to have to warm these ones up since they're straight out of the package. All right, I am ready to start creating. Okay, so the first thing I want us to try out today is to try to mix our clay to create certain colors. As you can tell, we have the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, as well as white to kind of lighten things up. If I wanted to get the secondary colors, which are orange, green, or purple, I'm going to have to mix those. So I went ahead and mixed my colors and I got this beautiful purple color. In order to get that, I have to mix blue and red. So I would just take off a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, stick them together and then just pinch, 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 pinch until it turns purple. Kind of have to work those two colors together. Eventually it will turn purple. If it is too dark of a purple for you, you could add a little bit of white. And then again, just mix, mix, mix with your fingertips. You see that wonderful color coming through. A lighter purple looks great. So now I have some purple. If I wanted to mix some green, I'd have to get some blue and some yellow and mix those two together. And it really does matter how much you have um, of each color. They should be the same amount. So if I have too much blue and just a tiny bit of yellow, it's not going to make um, a, as bright of a green. Be more of a blue um, than a green. So now I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. And I have a green. If I want it to be lighter, again, I could just go back to my white and make it lighter. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna mix my red and my yellow together to get an orange. And now I basically have a mini color wheel. I have my primaries and my secondary colors here. Awesome job, you guys. Uh, try to make your own mini color wheels. When you're finished, um, raise your hand and um, we can get started on our actual project. <music> Thank you. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about our clay and what to do and what not to do with it. So now you see that we have our clay here, um, we have our primary colors and um, our secondary colors. We also have our bag that we're gonna keep to um, keep putting it in and taking it out between classes. So do not throw away the bag. Another thing to keep in mind is if I take all my colors and I just smush them together and make one big, I don't know, brown color probably, um, you do not get more clay. Once I use the clay that I was given, I'm done. I'm out of luck. So make sure you are keeping them separate as much as you can. Um, besides when you want to mix them into smaller pieces like these. Um, another thing to keep in mind is in between classes, you might have to rehydrate your clay. So with this clay, you can see it's pretty smooth, right? I break into it, it doesn't have too many rough spots. It's pretty smooth. That's the type of clay that we want. Um, versus this one, if I break into it, you can kind of see the rough patches on it. If we look closely, it's getting a little bit drier than the other one. So it's not quite as smooth as my red clay. And that's because it's getting dry. Um, how I combat that is to A, make sure this is always sealed up in between classes so you want to press down using your fingertips to make sure it's sealed up and it can look sealed and not really be sealed so make sure it's completely sealed when you have your clay in there right another way to make sure it doesn't dry out um, is to rehydrate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit of water tiny tiny look how small amount of water that that was barely any and I'm just going to work it into my clay again we don't want too much water maybe like a couple teaspoons guys very very small amount works great for this and now it's rehydrated and it is ready to go, easy to mold without feeling all dry. Um, another thing we don't wanna do with our clay, throw it at our neighbor, um, put some under my desk, stomp on it, just completely obliterate it. No, we wanna treat it like it's our friend. If we do any of those things, um, you will not have clay, and I'll have to tell you this is why we can't have nice things. So yeah, um, I'm ready to start on my project.